27, 37, 48, C4, 8, 9, 2, 6, 12, exclamation, question mark, asterisk, hashtag, <laughs> semicolon, full stop. Was anyone able to understand what I just said? No. That's how we understand the reason behind our five times more tuition fee. <laughs> With this very rebellious line, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Jefferson. <laughs> Muhammad Aslam. <laughs> Huang Li. <laughs> Kwambe Kiyumba. <laughs> Bhavneet Singh. I'm the voice of all the international students whose stories are never been unfolded. Most of you would be like, oh man, another international student crying on the life they choose themselves. I mean, yes. Who wants to have family dinners filled with laughter and love when you can have microwave dinners in your own tiny dorm rooms all by yourself? <laughs> and uh, who wants to hug their parents in loneliness when you can hug Walmart comfy pillows, eh? <laughs> Better when you have got uh, Two on a price of one on Black Friday sale, one mom and one dad. <laughs> then what is the reason that every day around the world, someone is leaving their crying parents on the airport, giving them constant assurance that we will meet soon again. But deep inside, they have one question in their heart, which we can never truly answer that will I be able to see these faces ever again in my life? We leave our families, our friends, our loved ones, all in a pursuit of better life, a brighter future. But at what cost? The cost for me is seeing my grandmother's health getting worse day by day. Her face getting weaker and frailer with each passing moment. And every time I see her on a video call, I just wonder, Will I be able to see her face ever again? Will I be able to hear her voice the next morning? Is this the last time she is kissing me on the call, thinking that it is coming through the phone to me? The world is full of people who are suffering, who are deprived of basic amenities that we all may take granted. This is that suffering that drives us to seek something more. To move from one place to another in search of something new. And back in times, people used to move with their whole tribes, communities, families. But then they thought that this is not enough. We need something else to succeed in this new land. And there came the concept of sacrifices. A sacrifice to leave the comfort of your home and come to this war zone. A sacrifice for the family we leave behind and the sacrifice for the family we are going to make in this new home. A sacrifice to leave 16 hours of sleep back and working 16 hours of shifts here equivalent. It is the same thing we all are going through. I was ready to board the plane and my dad approached me. I was excited for what lay ahead and I was also nervous and sad that I was leaving the things which I loved and knew. He came to me and gave me a piece of paper. It was a one dollar US bill. He told me that it is the same bill he had held on to when he was determined to make sacrifice back in 1992. I see the crown being shifted from his head to my the crown of responsibilities, the crown of sacrifices, the crown to lead the family at this young age. My eyes welled up and he added that you are standing on a platform in the sky where you are holding a string we all are hanging on. Don't let that string get loose. Always keep us in your heart and never forget where you came from. I clutched that paper, got my seat, on the plane and was uh, ready to soar the unknown. 
and uh, I reached the land of surprises, Canada. <laughs> As an international student, it's very hard to go and ask for help. I was no exception to this. The sense of homesickness started overwhelming me and I was just stretching my stay here. One day I was just walking lost and alone on the campus and I saw a poster. The University of Guelph was looking for people to represent them. I questioned my worth and I move away from there because I was not that confident. Who wants to compete with the people who were born here, have uh, good uh, English speaking skills than me? That day, I told each and every international student I met about the opportunity. And the responses I got was, oh, this is not what we are here for. Focus on your studies and earn money. That's our goal. Oh, we cannot compete with the domestics. And I was shocked. Shock with this thinking pattern of 95% international students who think the same way. And though I was questioning my own worth, I applied for the position to initiate the change, the change which was impossible, a paradigm shift which seemed could never happen, a change to inculcate into the international students that with money and education, we also need respect for our international students' community, which is lacking. We are stereotyped as Uber drivers and warehouse workers only. But I want to add that if we can do this, we can do that too. I have done both of the things on one day. The thing is not you know, complicated if we see that these both things can happen. And the person who was questioning his own identity became the identity of this University of Guelph, got on to become the face and voice of the university, became the social media ambassador for the international student community, social media ambassador for the engineering department, social media ambassador for the whole university, being a residence assistant, a bounce back facilitator, vice president for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer, Guelph branch, and another various leadership opportunities. I got involved with each and every organization and department on this campus because I believe in the Punjabi word saying, Beautifully sung by Dilji Dasan and penned by Amrit Man, great uh, Punjabi folk artists. Loosely translates to the world is just thinking about money, money, money. I'm born to shine. <laughs> the jut is born to shine. And there are a lot of people out there who are born to shine, who are working on this. But there are a lot of people who lose their faith and confidence in between. They take some steps whose damages can never be repaired. They quit their life, they quit their home and go back. And the ones who stay there, the rewards are tremendous. There are different levels of paradigm shifts, easy, moderate, tough. The one that international students leave their home and come here comes in one of the toughest shifts in their life. They are completely changing everything in their life. For example, I don't know what paradigm shift was when I was back in home and I got to know here. That thing which they are changing, and as I told before, that they are replacing one whole group and coming a single individual sacrifice. So if they are coming and replacing a whole group, that individual is taking the responsibility of the whole group. The individual is taking the whole ideology of that group. And I believe then they has to have the whole patience level, consistency level, and hard work level of that whole group. And then the pressure is here. But at the end of the day, even I go back to my room, see the pictures I have pasted on the walls, hallucinating my own loved ones, thinking if my dad would have been here, he would have patted me on the back saying, you have done great. If my mom would be here, she would have hugged me and said, God save my son from evil eyes. But all, <laughs> 
All I have them is on a little phone screen, which I know will disappear after some minutes and I'll be again back into the reality. The setbacks in life teaches you a lot more than university classes. Don't take me as an excuse tomorrow skipping your university lectures in search of enlightenment. Huh? <laughs> the loneliness and homesickness teaches you the values of relationships. Like when me and my brother were together, we used to fight on uh, our favorite TV show. But now he promises me that when I'll be back home, I'll put your favorite TV show and we'll watch together. Something changes, something knocks. All the appeal is to international students, then don't settle for less. You have invested everything, from economic to emotional, from mental to physical. And the thing is, all we need is little patience and hope that something will get better one day. But that's not the case every time. Some lose their family in between, and some lose their kids. My uncle who came here as a student 20 years ago, he, he used to tell me that, he always told his father that, oh, come join me here in Canada. And his father always replied that, when you'll get your own home, I'll be here with you. After these 20 years, he has a big house, but not his father. A happy ending could never be assured in this great struggle. But amidst this pain and struggle, there is a glimmer of hope, a sense of community, of all getting together and living together as a family, lifting each other up. And as an international student, I've experienced that kindness of strangers becoming my family. And I believe that, yes, we all are one single person, but together we can be a family we can be a group, we can be a community which can change the world and make it a better place to live in. As Indian mythology says, Vishva Kutumb, the whole world is one family. Thank you. <laughs>